Hi there, Class 2, and welcome to this reading lesson. Our text today is called The Penguin, and it says already, here's a page out of an information book about penguins, so we know what sort of writing it's going to be. And it says, see how the picture of the penguin has labels to help you read the facts. Before you read the text, I'd like to take a moment to think about and talk about what do you already know about penguins? Maybe you could do a rally robin, take it in turns to say one thing that you know about penguins. And when you're ready to read the text with me, just press play again. But pause the video while you talk about penguins. And here is the text. We've got a picture of a penguin. It's a cartoon picture there. It's not a very scientific one. I think if I were doing an information text, um, I might try and put a more accurate photograph of a penguin in there but it gets the idea across and then we've got all of these boxes with information about penguins. Because we've got them in boxes it's not necessarily clear how to read them but the lines are pointing to the different parts so I think we'll start at the top here and we'll just read across or maybe we'll go around the penguin actually. It says black feathers seen from above and white feathers seen from below make it hard for predators to spot them while swimming. Penguins beaks have a little hook at the end to help them feed on fish. They are also able to drink salty seawater. Penguins can't fly, but instead of wings they have flippers that help them swim. And we learnt about penguins before school closed, so well, you might have already known that. The bodies of penguins are shaped to swim easily through the water. They can swim at 15 miles per hour. It's quite fast. 15 miles per hour is faster than most people will move. Their feathers are oily, so they can stay waterproof while they are swimming. There's another fact about swimming. We've got three facts about swimming already. The feet of penguins help to grip the ice, as well as helping them to steer when they are swimming. Steering is when you turn while you're moving. Normally we'd say steer a car. If we go around here, they have fluffy feathers next to their skin, as well as an outer layer of feathers to keep in the heat. An outer layer means a layer that's on the outside. So they're fluffy feathers closest to the skin, and then further out we've got the um, feathers that keep in the heat. And then here it says they have a layer of fat called blubber, special word there, under their skin to keep them warm in freezing temperatures. Animals that live in a cold that have layers of fat, um, whales for example as well, we call that fat blubber. And then down here it says they also huddle together to stay warm. Huddle is where you are in a close group together, not like you would be at the moment. As many as 5,000 penguins will crowd close together when freezing winds are blowing. So there are lots of facts about penguins there, all information, it's not a story of course, and the lines help us find the facts. So if we were trying to find out something about their feet, well we could look at their feet here, their flippers would be over here. If we were looking at flippers, if we want to know something about beaks, then we go to beaks and we've got the fact there. So that should help you find the information that you need to answer the questions. Let's take a look at those now. How fast can a penguin swim? Well, I've coloured the word swim in yellow because if we look for that word, that's going to help us find the answer. Remember, it's how fast can a penguin swim? So I'm just looking about swimming. There we go, swimming. Is that about how fast they go though? Predators spot them? No, it's not. I'm just scanning for the word swim. There we go. That talks about their flippers. So that's not about how fast they are. Swim. So it's just swim. Swim easily through the water. Swim. Ah, swim. They can swim at 50 miles per hour. So that is the answer that we need. There, that would be 50 miles per hour. Penguins are fast swimmers. Write down two things that help them. So I'm going to look now for the word fast swimmers. Got swimming already. Not fast. No, not fast in there. Now that says 50 miles per hour. So that's about being fast. But let's take a look at what the question was. 
write down two things that help them to be fast. Well, we've got the bodies of penguins are shaped to swim easily through the water. Their feathers are oily so they can stay waterproof while they are swimming. We could say their feathers are oily. The feet of penguins help them to grip the ice as well as helping them to steer when they are swimming. So we've got the feet of penguins. So I've got a few options here. It's asking for two things though. So I'm going to now choose which two things are about helping penguins to swim fast. So I think the bodies of their penguins, the shape of their bodies and their feet. Their feathers being oily, it helps keep them waterproof, but it doesn't necessarily help them swim faster. So for that one, we would have their bodies and their feet. And then question three, how is being black and white good for the penguin? Well, let's have, take a look now for the words black and white. But oh, straight away, we've got black. Black feathers seen from above and oh, white. So we've got black and white talking about their feathers. Let's remind ourselves what the question was. How is it good for the penguin? Black feathers seen from above and white feathers seen from below make it hard for predators to spot them while they are swimming. So how is it good for the penguins? Well, it keeps them safe from predators. It's almost like a type of camouflage. So you might write something like the colours help keep them safe from predators by making them harder to spot. Let's take a look at the next questions when you are ready. If you need to finish those questions off, pause the video and write your answers down. So, question four. And again, I'm going to highlight the parts of the text that will help me find the answer. What do penguins drink? The important word here is drink. So that's the word that I'm going to look for. Drink. drink. Oh, there we go. Drink. Or I could have looked at the beak because I know they use their beak to help them drink. So it says drink. They are also able to drink salty seawater. What do penguins drink? They drink salty seawater. Which part of the pen penguin's body helps it to steer while it's swimming? So I'm going to look for the word steer. Now I think I remember seeing that before. I think it might be the feet. So if I go to the feet in the information box, look for the word steer. There we go. So yes, steer when they are swimming. Well, which part of the body? It's their feet. So you might write something like the penguin's feet help them to steer while they are swimming. And write down three things that help a penguin stay warm. So warm, I think, is my key word here. Let's take a look. Warm, I've got here. So keep their, keep warm. It's the blubber under their skin. So that's one of the three things, the blubber. Here, it doesn't say warm, but it says heat. So it says they have fluffy feathers next to their skin, as well as an outer layer of feathers to keep in their heat. So that's two different types of feathers. Just keep checking. There's nothing about warm over here. There's a the word warm though. So they also huddle together to stay warm. So it's asking for three things. So I think we've got the blubber, we've got their special feathers, and we've got huddling together. So if we turn that into a sentence, it might say three things that help a penguin stay warm are their blubber, their feathers, and huddling together with other penguins. So those are how to find the answers. I'll leave this page up with the different parts coloured in and have a go at writing your answers now. Good luck.